Alright, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rokar Kadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders who continue to guide us through the Spirit and rule well. And uh, peace and blessings, Shalom, to the hopefully elect uh, 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 out there across the four corners of the earth. Man, and pretty much we're just going to go into to, uh, the scriptures, man, and uh, bring out some understanding as far as uh, these guys that's pretty much putting the work of the Lord off, man. But at the same time, when they're claiming that they are doing the work, but they doing in their mind, doing the work is in the form of rap videos, uh, uh, fucking whatever they may be, man. If you're not on the highways and byways consistently, if you're not putting up lessons on a, on a regular basis, man, you're not really doing the work of the Heavenly Father, man. Because you're not putting no full effort and no uh, love and a show of faith. Because the guys who's putting off the work of the Lord is because they have no faith, man. So they just see, okay, Israel, this is trendy. This is the big thing right now. This is fun. I can make rap videos. I can involve my wife and my kids. I can go get a baptism. All the bullshit that you see Jake getting into uh, uh, that know they Israel, man. So the same mindset that you have towards the Lord is what he's going to return, uh, give you when he returns, man. So if you was a lazy nigga and telling the Lord, you know what, give me a minute, I got something to take care of. When, when, when all hell break loose and he return and you screaming, uh, Yahweh Shah save me, he going to say, wait, hold on, man, I got something to take care of. I'll get to you in a minute. Just hold tight. So, but the true men of the Lord are going to continue to endure. Why? Because we fear the Most High, man. Your brother Abaya out here in this camp had just uh, done a video earlier and said we're living in, con in constant fear. In constant fear of what? Of what the Most High do to us if we don't endure and push His word, man. Because that's our whole job here, man. Our job is not to have fun and kick back. If Micah 2 and 10 said this is not our rest, then what are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be seeking comfort and rest in the scriptures, man. And when you get into these scriptures, it's going to amplify your spirit to teach, man. And right. like with that, we can get straight into it, man. Because right, right. these guys that the brother is talking about that's doing all these marching and videos and they uh, trimming their ways to seek love of the world, man. Correct. All right? They trimming the ways of your how about shimmy our shot? To please unto the masses of the Israelites, man. All right? So they go into what? Gimmicks. They go doing rap videos. They doing marches. To please the people eyes. But the Most High has always been very specific on how he want things done, man. It's simple. What did uh, Yahweh Shah tell Peter? He said, if you love me, feed my flock. And how do you feed the flock? By uh, Real quick, somebody grab uh, Jeremiah 15. Uh, what was it? 15.3? It should give you facts so that was more hard. Jeremiah chapter 15, uh, verse 3. Uh, is it 3 and 15? No, it's 3 and 15. So, like, okay. this uh, Jeremiah chapter 15, uh, 3 and 15. And it says, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So, it didn't say nothing about uh, Esau playing games. For sure. <laughs> It didn't say nothing about doing rap videos and taking breaks and all, or getting your family and your, and your physical house together, man. No, feeding with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. So you're going to continue to, uh, if you're a man of the Lord, you're going to continue to teach and, and have your mindset to, to, to return and not be, really, not be fucking selfish, man. Right. If you're not teaching the word and the understanding that you got, if you didn't got the understanding, and you just gonna sit on it, man. Then you being a selfish as hell, man. How do you tell it? Cause you done heard, you you, you done heard received the calling. You supposed to continue to, uh, to 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 call out, man. Because Yahweh Shai is speaking through the men of the Lord through His prophets, man. So if you get the word and you decide, you know what, I'm gonna be lazy. I'm gonna kick back. I'm gonna do what I want to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on doing the work of the Lord, man. You being selfish as hell, man. When the red, the when the, uh, the hopefully elect, the rest of the elect, if we be part of the elect, is sitting back hungry and starving for the for, for a good meal, and you don't want to feed them, man. So bring that out one more time, and then you can start uh, bring that Ecclesiastes out. This is uh Jeremiah three and fifteen. 
I will give you pastors according to my mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yep. And, and like the apostles have been saying as of recently and, and, and plenty of times beforehand, man, after they'll do a, 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 a like Apostle Hart said, okay, we done went a certain amount of time. Y'all brothers and got two hours of some good, a, a good eating, man. Now, you other cats that's out there and that's claiming you're doing the work of the Lord, which you are not, man, you leaving Israel starving, man. Right. You got men out there that's, that, that's hungry for this word. And you ain't, and you you won't fix them a plate. You gonna sit over and say, I'm gonna go over here and snack a little bit. Right. I'm not even eating a full plate. I'm not gonna give you nothing either. I'm just snacking a little bit, man. And then these guys, they'll they'll feed they'll feed the uh, the the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But feed them uh, BS, man. Yeah, GMO doctors. Right. <laughs> we'll feed them what rap videos, marching. That's yeah. not. That's not the pastors according to the Most High's heart, man. That word heart going to uh, uh, your mind, man. Uh, in Hebrew law, man, talking about your mind. So the Most High will give you understanding and knowledge according to His mind, which the pastors will be preaching. Yeah. The yeah. Most. <laughs> you got it. No, no. Go ahead, the Most High ain't said go out there and do rap videos and preaching. That's also going into tearing into the Lord because they're not turning back to the yeah. Lord, man. That's it. The Lord is His. It, it, it comes in the volume of the book, man. All right? So you have to turn back into the word for you to turn back to the Lord, man. These guys turn it into what? The way of Esau, man. Yeah. Real quick, so like your brother, grab uh, uh, Revelation 19 and 10. Because the main thing we're supposed to be doing is, as watchmen is supposed to be warning the people, man. That's a major part of the work is warning the people and speaking the prophecies that's still to come. Go ahead. It says, uh, Revelation 19 and verse 10, and it reads, Stand afar off for the fear of her torment. Uh, Salakia, that's 18. Oh, yeah, 19. Salakia, it is uh, Revelation 19 and 10, and it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren. That have the testimony of Yahweh Shah, worship Yahweh Shah. For the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. prophecy. Is the spirit of prophecy, man. So if you were into doing this work, you in the spirit of prophecy and warning the people of what's to come, man. Now, the scriptures speak about putting a stumbling block before your brother, man. Right. If you putting out videos about doing rap videos, and cook-offs and uh, debates and all this other award shows, you putting stumbling blocks before your brother, man. And that's wicked as hell, man. Instead of pushing prophecy, because the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, man. We set up as watchmen, man. I know like this brother get into it, you the one really hit me to it, man. I originally got into the Game of Thrones, man. And when they, uh, it was one of the major wars was going on, and as soon as they saw the ships approaching the castle, uh, getting close to the shore, the watchmen, what are they doing? They start ringing the bells to let them know it's wartime, man. Prepare yeah. yourselves, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what's going to happen if the, uh, uh, the, the, the watchmen were sitting up there having freestyle sessions? If the watchmen sitting up there uh, on the grill barbecuing and shit, not paying attention to what's going on, man. If you're a watchman, you're supposed to be keeping your eye out for the enemy, man. And warning the people, letting them know. And y'all claim y'all so into uh, about Israel and, and, and uh, oh, we love about the, the community of Israel and all this shit. A watchman, when you ring that bell, you warning everybody. You letting the soldiers and the warriors know, uh, gird it up, it's time to go to war. You letting the women and children know to go seek safety, man. So we're the only ones that's truly uh, looking out for Israel, the ones that's doing the work of the Heavenly Father, man. But yeah, precept, brother. Come on. This is uh, Ephesians 5 and 18. It says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, mm -hmm. speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart, to the 
to the uh, to the Lord. You know, but the point being, man, you know, we supposed to be, you know, what I'm saying, in the spirit, man. All right, in uh, songs and hymns, it's through the word, man. That's right. All right, not being on a corner level, rapping about taking out Esau. You know what I'm saying? Rapping about you got your fringes on. You know what I'm saying? And all this other carnal bullshit, man, Jake is promoting amongst Israel, man. Yeah. Alright, you know, right, right now, Sirach, bro. Kind of. Alright, this is the uh, book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 5, and uh, let me start at 6. Come, come, you start at 6. Come, 5 and 6. And say not, his mercy is great. He will be uh, pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from come from him, and his indignation rested upon sinners. And his indignation rest, rested upon sinners, man. So you guys think that uh, the, in, in the vibration that you put out is that the Most High is going to just turn a blind eye to what you're doing, man. The oh, Lord, uh, he sent his son, he died for our sins. Now we can just chill and have fun in Babylon, man. We say his indignation rested upon sinners, man. So what is sin? Transgression of the law. Is it not a commandment for us to teach his word and go out on the highways and byways, which the, the bulk of you guys are not doing? And if you're doing it, you're not doing it in sincerity, or if you are, you're not preaching the whole, the true doctrine, man. So you ultimately, you sit in against the Heavenly Father because you're not, uh, uh, you're not doing his work, man. The way he uh, uh, expressed, uh, uh, stated us to do, man. Keep reading, bro. Verse 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. And that's uh, 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 that's another commandment, man. Everything in this book is not suggestions. It's not just some thing that if you have some time, uh, you should take heed to this right here. No, these are commandments, man. Letting you know this is what we're supposed to be doing in these days and times, man. You're not reading these scriptures and, uh, uh, for fun, man. This is our life, man. It's letting you know. Make not no terror to turn to the Lord. You ain't got no fucking time, man. Yeah, we under a grace period, but to us it seemed like a long time. But we at the end of this thing, man. We done been through multiple incarnations uh, uh, doing the work, man. Doing whatever you've been doing. Whatever you're doing in this time and your other incarnations, you've been doing that same thing, man. So now we at the end of the end, man. This is the last time we're going to have to prophesy, go through hell, be in captivity, man. So that's why we, the, the spirit is constantly growing and amplifying to teach and be on fire for the Lord, man. And sacrifice whatever it takes, man. Right. I was talking to a, 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 a brother yesterday, and he just threw the spirit. He was like, man, every day you got to just stop and think about what can I sacrifice today to put more effort and work into the Lord, man. And it's not always, and we always speak on the obvious sacrifices, but as an individual, man, you think about the scripture saying that you, to examine yourself daily, man. We only know our weaknesses. We only know the things that we do on our day-to-day -day basis that take away from you putting time into the Lord's work, man. It could be something as simple as sleeping too damn much, man. Getting on yay on too much. Yeah, it's lawful. Right. But is it expedient to be nice all the damn time? No, you're not going to be productive in the spirit, man. Is it expedient to be chasing a whole bunch of females right now? No, man. The brother just read the scriptures. God. Be, not, be not drunk too much, but filled with the spirit. He yeah. Read it. <laughs> and that's it. And, and, and that's going into these other philosophies, man. We supposed to stick to the one two and uh, true doctrine, man. You win with it's not. We ain't set, uh, here to be getting caught up on all this different wine, man. All these different doctrines and philosophies that's going to have you straying away from the truth, man. But go ahead, brother. Man, the most side watch. When the Lord return, you gonna be, you niggas is going to be, man, you're going to be sadly displeased, man. You said, oh, well, you want to take time. I got stuff to take care of. I got my, my wife is unhappy right now. I got to get her happy first. I got to get a certain amount of money. I got to take care of this. Whatever the fuck you think you're doing that, that you're putting before the work of the Heavenly Father is going to receive a, a, a destruction, man. Go ahead. Right. 
So, all right, so Rack 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, mm -hmm. and perish in the day of vengeance. They say, in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, man. So, so, and that's what, because we used it, man, years ago, when we used to bring this out, we was always pinpointing just regular niggas, man. That's just saying, oh, I ain't got time for that. I, I, I ain't worried about the Bible. But, man, the focal point right now is you, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and know you Israel, but you just want to be uh, social media Israelites. Yeah, barbershop Israelites, man. You want to go in there, get edged up, get your get your get your, your dreads retwisted, and then try to uh, profess all the knowledge you know, man. You secure, man. So in your security, you're gonna be destroyed, man, because you're not looking for the Lord to return because you don't have no faith that He will return. That's why you're conducting yourself in a lack of fear, and your actions show it by what you the vibrations that you put out, man. The fact that you don't want to teach and do, and do this work, man. Yes, I'm good. If the brother is finished with that. Uh, all right. This, um, so, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now the Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw, uh, draw not. So, the scripture is saying, Look, you young man, the most high in this town is calling young men, predominantly young men, and uh, from time to time older men. But for the majority, all right, the most high is calling young men to the truth, man. So the most high is saying, look, remember the creator, Yahweh Shemi Awashah, why you young, man? Mm -hmm. Why this all hell ain't broke loose yet, man? All right? Because what? The micro trip is about to be uh, come mandatory, uh, martial law. Is about to be on the streets of America. Yeah, it's dollar about to be done away with, man. Right. Real soon, man. Right. All hell is about to break loose, man. The time of Jekyll Trouble is coming, man. So, hey, look. Remember your how about Shimmy I was shot? Why the evil days, what it says, why the evil days come not, nor the years draw not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, man. Because it's going to be all hell breaking loose, man. You're not going to have pleasure in those days, man. All right? So remember your how by Shimmy I was shot. How you do that? By getting into the scriptures, man. Yep. Showing your faith by works, man. Because if you're not remembering how by Shimmy I was shot in these days right now, that means you don't trust in his coming, man, and his second coming. You thinking that's a so far off, man. I'm gonna I'm be I'm just gonna live and die. I'm gonna retire. We're gonna get my 401k. Me and my wife are gonna move down to Florida. We're gonna wear black socks and thong slippers. Whatever the hell you got in your goddamn mind, man. <laughs> that shit was graphic details. Jake really think, man, you got niggas amongst Israel that think that they gonna retire in Babylon, man, and die here, and they won't have to worry about Yahweh Shah returning, man. Well, that's the uh, right in line with you, the scripture you just read, man. Somebody, uh, you grab uh, Isaiah 56 and 10. Let's just read This is uh, Isaiah. Because, uh, right now, the watchman at the Jeremiah 3 and 15, man. The men at the most high setup are going to be active. They're going to be uh, highly productive in the spirit, man. But right now, you got a bunch of fucking lazy niggas that don't want to do the work of the Lord because they don't have no faith, man. So they trying to make the best out of Babylon. They're trying to use all these gimmicks. And they just trying to cater, they cater to their flesh instead of cater to the spirit of the most high. Why? Because the most high didn't rest the Holy Spirit upon them, man. And ultimately, because they're not a part of the elect, man. And the ones that believe in the scriptures and everything in this book are fighting and striving to, 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 to do the work of the Heavenly Father out of fear and faith, man. Well, go ahead, brother. Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slump. Yep, and that's what you uh, see right now, man. You see a bunch of men that's supposed to be guard dogs and warning the people of what's coming, man. 
a good guard dog is going to be constantly uh, uh, barking and letting you know, man. But you got uh, these guys that set up either through Esau or they just set up through Satan, man. And they blind, man. They don't see what this thing is all about, man. They don't know what's going on. And they're not speaking the words of prophecy, man. They're not warning the people, man. What good is a dog if he's not going to bark and let you know that somebody's trying to break into your property, man? That somebody's stealing your goods, man? You gonna get rid of him, man. Like, man, this dog ain't doing shit. This motherfucker just lay up under the porch, sleep, and yawning all goddamn day, man. Right. He's supposed to be watching, right? Yeah. He watch dog. That's what you see. You see a good watch dog. That motherfucker just steady back and forth. Yeah. Just walking back and forth. On guard. Every 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 five minutes you hear that motherfucker <laughs> coming down before you make it to the uh, to the house. Him coming down the street. Yeah. He'll let it and then, you know, uh, another, what, what a good watchdog does, he judges spirits too, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of good dogs, man, they, you see, and if it's a, a motherfucker with an off-ass spirit, they gonna be on, they gonna be on their ass, man. They gonna be warning you, ain't something ain't right with this motherfucker, man. They gonna be growling at him, man. But they see somebody with a good spirit, and they, man, they, 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 uh, they let you know, man, he's, he, this one's straight, man. So we, we supposed to be good watchmen, man, but you guys just want to sit back and chill and have fun, man. Lazy ass fucking dogs, man. That's not into doing the work of the Heavenly Father. You're not on fire, and you don't trust in, in the promises of the Most High. So ultimately, you don't believe in the kingdom of heaven, man. You got something else? No, no, I was it. I got the Matthew 7. Come on, come on. Let's, let's get that, brother. All right, this is uh, Matthew 7 and 21. It says, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So like it, brother. Start back from the top. This is Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now that's what we, man, like before we had started recording, man, we was watching a damn rap video. We had Priest Dunyala, uh, that cat, uh, uh, Morocco uh, in it, whatever his name is, man, the adulterer, man. And they was doing it in the midst of a uh, 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 folly, man, another rap video, man. And that day, they're going to be some of them men that were screaming, Lord, Lord, man. But no, you not sent because you, you didn't endure, man. You gave up, man. You didn't have trust that I was going to send my son back. You feared Esau's system and structure more than the most high, man. Go ahead. Yes. Now, they have the care so you can tell they have the care of the world in them, man. Yeah. All right? And the Most High is looking for an uh, individual that's giving up their life to serve him, man. And that's not, not worried about how men perceive him, man. All right? They try to make this Hebrew Israelite thing uh, friendly, man. It's not yeah. friendly, man. Yeah, no matter what doctrine you're on, what you, uh, what, what you believe, man, it's, it's all fuck it. We all good. We all Israel. Let's have fun. Let's get together. Man, you having all type of cats popping out the woodworks, woodworks, trying to all of a sudden teach, man. I saw a video of a guy. He had a full fitted cap, his head completely covered, and he out there uh, trying to teach the word, man. With a t-shirt on, he didn't even have fringes on his t-shirt like the rest of these uh, uh, fringes nuts, man. Well, go ahead, brother. It says, but he that do it the will of, of my Father, which is in heaven. All right, I'll start from the top. It says, Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter, enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. And what's the will of the heavenly Father? First off, man, once you get this knowledge, you start casting off that old man that you used to be, man. You start keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You hit the highways and byways, and you teach his word for for the uh, sole uh, uh, purpose of feeding his uh, his men, man, his sheep. <clears throat> so I can't stop. Go ahead, brother. Go on. It says, "Many will say to me in in that day, Lord, Lord." And that day is coming soon, man. For you guys who playing around and pussyfooting, man, like they like to say down here, man, in, in the south, man. You, you, uh, got your head up your ass, man. Y'all just thinking this is all a big game, man, and playing around, man. 
When the Lord return, listen to what he's going to tell you, man. Go ahead. It says, have we not prophesied in thy name? Yeah, you gonna all these cats going to pop up. Oh, I was out there for 10 years, man. Did not prophesy in your name. I did the work, man. You're going to have cats like Sakari claiming they was doing, I was doing the work, man. I was out there, man. You're going to have Nazarite, fucking uh, fat face, skinny body ass, uh, talking about he was doing the work. Go ahead. Have we not prophesied in thy name? And then thy name has cast so out like it real quick. I you I see you out of the picture. Right. You out of the picture automatically. When the Lord returned, y'all didn't even profess his name, man. You mocked it. You said it didn't matter. Go ahead, man. It says, many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name has cast out deep devils? And in thy name done um, many marvelous works? Hey, I'll, 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 I'll just use an example of right now. Like, we give credit, man. When these Christian nuts come up, when these comedic dudes come up, Islam, and they go up, uh, approach one of these other camps, uh, and they and, and they confound them with the word, we give them credit, man. But at the end of the day, man, you, you're not part of the elect, man. Yeah, you you letting the people know that they Israel. You tell them to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, but they don't stop there, man. If you're not warning them of the, uh, of, of, the, of the few prophecies left, such as the mark of the beast being the RFID chip, martial law, the famine, World War Three, then, man, you, you're not going to receive salvation because you're not fully doing the work of the Heavenly Father, man. You done got some skin on you. You done got your sin news. Your joints is connected. But you don't have no full breath in your body, man. Mm -hmm. You don't have a full understanding, man. And it shows through your teaching, man. That's why you got these cats. They just run out of oil because they don't have a, they didn't eat the whole roll, man. But go ahead, brother. It says, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. I never knew you. Is that real letter? That's Yahweh Shah speaking, man. He's going to tell you, I never knew your ass, man. I don't know what you was talking about, man. Even like what uh, the scriptures tell you about uh, 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 men's prayers, that's not being heard, man. You claiming, you praying, you sending up prayers, and you not speaking the, the, the true name, man, Yahweh Shah's not hearing that. That shit dropping over the end of your toes, man. When that day come, man, he's coming back for the elect, and that's it, man. Any niggas I was bullshitting and putting off the work and saying, oh, we ain't got to go out in the winter. It was raining that day, so we, 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 we ain't go out. You got niggas that don't even wait to see if it's going to rain, man. What do we do when we, when we know we caught a forecast and we know shit? We come prepared, man. Grab your umbrellas. You might need a little a jacket, raincoat if you got it. But we go out there to do the work, man, and then if it get too too bad, then we, we be wise and we shut it down, man. But you got these cats, oh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, and they just won't show up, man. Like these cats that used to be out here, we used to call them the fair weather prophets, man. The most high, it, it, when his son returned, he gonna tell you, I never knew you cats, man. It was some more, brother. It says, uh... I'll read on in verse 24. It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken unto him, I will liken him unto a wise man which a built his house man. upon a rock. That builded his hand. Uh, uh, and what are we supposed to be focused on? The building of the house of David, man. And what uh, uh, Peter, what is his name? Uh, his name uh, mean, man? It means rock, a stone, man. And what are you, how was Shah said? Upon you will I build uh, uh, my house, man. I'm not uh, saying it verbatim, man. So that's what we supposed to be focused on, the building of the house of David, man. This is a spiritual building, man. And you read about in the Old Testament when when they was in the uh, uh, it, it spoke about uh, Moses being in the midst of the church. So right now we know that Israel is the Israelites are the church, man. And it wasn't talking about no physical building. So we as lively stones are building up a spiritual house, man, according to the scriptures, man. And you cats are not being lively stones, man. 
You just stagnant. You dead. You just null and void, man. So when the Lord returns, He's not gonna give credit unto you, man. Cause you didn't, you didn't, you didn't do enough, man. You cast as just trying to get a D plus. Y'all shall not seeking no men that just want to get a passing grade, man. That don't exist with the scriptures, man. This ain't Esau's system, man. You us have anything else? Uh, with that, we're going to end it, man. Lord willing, this is edifying. Once again, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rukar Kodash. want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We'll continue to rule well. Peace and blessings unto the hopefully elect across the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Shalom.